In this quick video, we'll learn how we can read and render Cinema 4D's MoGraf and field colors using VRA 6.1 for Cinema 4D. Hey folks, welcome to MoGraf Plus. This video is a free sample from our course, The Ultimate Introduction to VRA for Cinema 4D. It's a massive 13 plus hours course in which we explore all the aspects of VRA for Cinema 4D thoroughly. Make sure to check it out. The link is in the description. Also, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. Now I have this very basic MoGraph set up with a few effectors and fills and together they give this purplish colors if the clones are bigger and this bluish color if they are smaller and also the color changes depending on how close or far away they are from the center of our setup. Now let's see how V-Ray can read these color data from the cloners and render them. Let's create a new V-Ray node material and apply it to our clones. We can start interactive rendering as well. You notice the colors are gone both in the viewport and they are not showing up in the render. Let's open up the material. Now, to read the colors from your MoGraph setup, you need a user color node. So let's add one. This node can read existing attributes in your scene, both custom and native. We talked about custom attributes in the previous lesson. And one of the native attributes is the display colors of your clones in your MoGraph setups. And you can define that attribute in the attribute field. If you click on this arrow besides the attribute field, we can read a bunch of particles, object, and MoGraph attributes. We want to read the colors from our MoGraph setup. So let's choose this MoGraph color attribute. And if this arrow doesn't exist, you can manually type in VRA underscore MoGraph underscore color, all in caps to load that attribute. Now that we have this attribute, and you can see there are many more attributes that you can read from your MoGraph setup and use them in your networks. Now that we have this attribute, I can simply connect the output of the user color node to the diffuse color input of the VRA material. And now we get our clone colors in our VRA render. And it is that easy. Now, while we are here, we can do a few cool things. I can simply add a color correction node after the user color node. And connect that to the diffuse color instead. and use the hue shift to get an entirely new set of colors for my clones. For now, let's set the hue shift to negative 15. Now to finish up the shader, I want to have some nice subsurface scattering. So enable SSS under the refraction parameters. Set the SSS amount to 0.5 and scale to 3 centimeters. And finally, connect the color correction node to the SSS color input as well. And that's it. Pretty nice and easy. In this video, we'll learn how to read and render MoGraph and field colors in very 4 Cinema 4D. See you in the next one. Make sure to visit our website, mographplus.com and check out our premium CGI and rendering courses for Cinema 4D, 3ds Max, Maya, Arnold, Corona, V-Ray, Redshift, and much more. See you in the next one.